Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of the Java 101 series. In this episode, we're going to get an introduction to buttons. We're going to learn about uh, just a couple different types of buttons, and then, you know, some important things that apply specifically to buttons. Uh, so I'm going to leave the text that we did in the previous episode, and we'll just go ahead and get started. Uh, so as I said in the previous video, each uh, class or sorry, each node has its own class that represents that particular node and contains all of the methods. So we have the text class, but we also have for the button a button class. So we can go ahead and say button, we'll call it button equals new button, and we'll have it say click me. So that'll be the text. Uh, I believe that you don't need to specify uh, text in there. I'll check in one second, but that's the text that will show up on the button. Um, let's go ahead and import. Make sure that you do the JavaFX button and not the Java AWT button. We don't want that. And it should... Yeah, okay, so it does have a default constructor, but chances are you probably know what text you want the button to say initially. So this will say, click me. And let's go ahead and say, pain.getchildren.add button. So we're going to go ahead and add the button to the pane. And now let's go ahead and take a look. You'll notice that right under Hello World, you see this Click Me button. Obviously, it doesn't do anything, uh, but if you click on it or press the space bar while it's uh, highlighted in blue, then it will activate uh, the button. And we can go ahead and make it actually do something in just a second. Now, you'll notice that the style of this button is a little bit different than uh, Swing, because in Swing, the style looks like the native style. So, you know, in Mac... OS, it's going to look like a Mac OS button. Now this uh, button obviously does not look the same as a regular button on Mac OS, uh, and that's because it's styled with CSS, and it will look the same on all platforms, which is one thing that Swing does not have in common. Swing will actually conform to the current platform, which means that uh, one Swing program would look different on multiple platforms. In this case, that is not the case. Uh, whatever CSS you define, it will look the same. Um, anywhere. So let's go ahead and quickly take a look at, um, I mean, there are uh, the methods, I think that there's, yeah, there's a set font method and, you know, set fill, or maybe not set fill, but I think you can set the style. Uh, so if you want to change that, then you already know from the text. Um, but the one thing that we, that uh, you don't know from text, is if you go ahead and take a, type in set and you look, um, really set on. You'll notice that there are all these methods set on blah 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 and these are basically where you register all of your different event handlers. So in uh, swing or yeah in swing it would be like button dot add action listener. Uh, in this case it would be set on action and there are a few other differences. So this takes in an action an event handler sorry of type action event. So we're going to set on action to be a new event handler action event and then obviously uh, we're going to need to fill this in make sure that you import the uh, java fx action event and not the java.awt one and then also java.beans dot event handler i believe that should be the correct one and it'll say that we need to oh maybe that was the wrong one so it is that's not the right event handler Let's see, did it want an event handler? It wanted, yeah, an event handler out of type action event. None of those seem correct. Let me, we can just take a look and see it's in javafx.event.event handler. So let's go ahead and just try manually importing it. I don't know why that didn't work before. Uh, but obviously it's going to say that we can't instantiate it because it is, if you take a look in interface, it is one uh, method, which is handle. So we can go ahead and write that. If we do um, make an anonymous in our class, it will add in the one method that we need, um, public void handle action event E. Uh, now inside of the action event class, there isn't really much that you can do. You can you know get the source, get the target, um, whatever, but 
what we can do here is just you know set what happens when we click. So let's just say system dot out dot print ln good job for example. Um, we can go ahead and run this, and now every time I click it, you'll see that it prints out um, good job. So we set the um, on action listener or the on action event handler to be a new event handler that when the action is called, um, it will print out good job. Now one quick note, if you don't understand this, don't worry, um, but JavaFX is, you know, optimized for, well, JavaFX 8 is, of course, optimized for Java 8, um, and, you know, you could even do this in Swing, but one cool thing that you can do uh, is you can use lambdas. If you don't know what a lambda is, I have a Java 101 video on lambdas, so you can check it out, um, but you could write that shorthand by just writing e... Um, to system dot out dot print Ellen, good job. So if you don't understand that part, don't worry. And also that would only work on Java eight. Um, but that's just you know how to use shorthand. You can use a lambda to do it, so that you don't have to write all of this boilerplate code. So I was just making sure that you were aware of that in case you do know what lambdas are. If not, check out my Java one one video on I think it was streams lambdas and method method references. I think that's what it's called. So this is the button, and we have the on action. Uh, there are other types. For example, there's the checkbox. Checkbox with a capital B. Um, and let's go ahead and try this out. So we'll make it equal to a new checkbox. Uh, and then obviously it does have a string constructor, which we can use. Um, and then we'll just say um, yes as a question and if you check it yes if not no so if we go ahead and actually I should probably put this below there um, so if we go ahead and add the checkbox and now we run it you'll see that it has a checkbox and when I click on it it checks and again this is uh, this does not look like the platform it's independent the you know the general look of it um, so you can stylize that, you could change the highlight color, or, you know, you could change a lot of things about it. Um, oops, sorry about that. So, there is, of course, the set on action in here. So you can do, uh, set on action, so basically whenever it's, uh, you know, clicked or whatever. Um, and then you can also do, uh, the is selected method, um, that will return whether or not the checkbox is selected. So obviously that would be... Um, important. And then you can also do like a radio button if you wanted. So you could do radio button, which is the same thing as a checkbox, except that um, a checkbox is independent. A radio button means you can only select one out of a set. So if you had three options and you only wanted one out of those three to be selectable, you would use a radio button. And you know, those work uh, pretty much the same way. So that's all for this video, just um, a look at the button class and then, you know, another type of button, which is the checkbox. There are other types of buttons, like I said, the radio button um, and so on, but I'm not going to cover them right now because they're pretty much the same stuff. Um, so as always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, uh, and I'll see you guys soon with some more uh, Java 101 and sorry, JavaFX 101, um, and other coding. Bye for now.